Hi everyone, just a quick reminder that if you want to follow along the journey of making this dress in real time with me, both on Instagram and YouTube, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. You get to choose how much to pledge per month and you will receive live updates both on my close friends Instagram stories and access to all of the YouTube videos right now. Hope you enjoy the video. I'm now moving on to sewing the hooks and eyes on the bodice. So I'm following Nikki Leanne's tutorial on her 1830s bodice closures. Um, I'll link it in the description box below. Um, but basically I'm following like the method of where you stitch like three times at the top, then across three times on each loop of the hook and then, yeah, and then you tie it off on the under, underside of the fabric. Um, the thing is with hers, she has a very narrow boning, so she's able to go either side of the boning and not have to go into it. Whereas mine, um, my boning is cable ties, so it's actually quite a lot thicker than the hook itself. So I've had to like, uh, I've, I've tried my best to follow her method, but um, it's not really going to be perfect because my width of this um, seam is a lot wider than the actual hook itself. Um, I don't really care about the outside too much since it's going to be covered up with netting. But this, my gosh, this point here, I don't know if you can tell, but it is really thick. It's so thick and it's a pain to sew through. My finger looks like this. <laughs> yeah, not fun. Anyway, oh, and one more thing. I um, went back to my drawings. I don't know if I, I shown, I've shown this on um, these vlogs yet. Maybe, maybe not. But those were my drawings back when I was just planning out this dress and I hadn't actually gotten any of the materials or anything like that um but yeah like I hope this helps to motivate me because it is a really beautiful dress um but at the point at this point in time in filming this clip it is the 13th of September I think pretty sure and um I am doing a photo shoot thing um at the end of this month well beginning of October so I'm really hoping to get the base dress done and then get photos of the base dress if that makes sense um, so the base dress being this drawing here and then this would be the final the final version of the dress but I'm hoping to get you know just the base of it done without any of the details like the flowers and vines um, done by the end of this month um, I do have plans every weekend for the rest of this month, which doesn't help. Um, so I am going to have to work hard throughout the week. Hopefully I actually stay committed because I really do want to get nice photos of the base dress. <laughs>
and so the bodice is finally finished well at least the base bodice um, so some thoughts one I do not like how this um, comes above the skirt I definitely cut it too short in the waist um, which is a little bit annoying but I'm just hoping that the overlay of tulle on the skirt will help to bulk out this area and match it up with the bodice um, the fit up the top, it's a little bit gapy around the neckline, but I sort of knew that that's how it was going to be when doing it. I just don't know how to fix that, so whatever. The back, I'm not happy with um, at all. It just looks really funny, but too late now. I'll just see what I can do with the tulle netting overlay on the skirt to fix that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not happy with the bodice. Um, it's definitely not how I was expecting it to turn out, um, but at the same time it's too late for me to change anything and I don't want to, even if I did have the extra fabric to work with to change it. Um, I've just already worked on it for too long that I just want to continue on with the rest of the dress. Um, so yeah, that's the bodice. The next step is to do the netting overlay. So now I'm just going to drape the netting over the top and see what I am thinking. But yeah, that's the bodice. Um, I really can't show you the back. Um, oh, and I finished all of the little um, loops on where the hooks will attach to. So they're all attached. Um, ah, you would have seen that in the clip before anyway, so yeah, that's the bodice. Ah, time for the tool. Actually, upon second thought, I've decided that I'm going to add a hook and bar here, a hook and bar here, and then also one at the center back to attach the skirt to the bodice, and then that way hopefully I can hide some of this waistband stuff. So yeah. So here's the bodice on the dress form. Um, as you would have seen it fits on me but it doesn't fit on my dress form but just to give you a look at how the hooks and bars look. So these are the hooks and those are the thread bars. Um, I did all of my thread bars a little bit over um, the blue marking where I had marked um, just so it would be a very snug fit which it is. Um, and in the clip just before I would have explained that I'm going to add hook and bars here, around here, and then also one at the center back. So if I come around here, I'll also add one in there to keep the back of the skirt up and close next to the bodice. Um, the other thing is I've got the bum pad, which I forgot that I even made. This has just been sitting on the dress form, so I think the bum pad will really help to shape out this flappy part. Um, so I'm hoping that won't look too strange. Um, but yeah, that's the bodice and I'm just going to go ahead and do the hooks and bars for each of those points. And the reason why I'm doing three is because that's all I have left. I don't have any more hooks and bars um, and I can't go to the shop and get any because I am sick today. So here's the bodice with the hooks and bars. So you can see my really bad stitching there, but that's where a hook is on the bodice and then the bar on the skirt, like, likewise with this side. Um, and then I've also got one in the center back, which is holding up fine. It's just these side bits here where I think I will need to add another hook and bar, um, just like at the side seam perhaps, where the end of the front comes in maybe one here and one here, so maybe like another two, um, and that will help hold up the skirt to stop this from coming down. Um, so yeah, I'll need to think about that. I think, yeah, just one at the side seam right there and one here. Um, but like I said, I don't have any more hooks and bars, um, so that's just going to have to wait until I am well enough to go out into the world and actually get them. Um, but as for the rest of it, I think the bodice is um, it's coming in together with the skirt a lot nicer 
um, now that I've got those hooks and bars there. I'm also wearing the skirt with the petticoat and the hoop skirt thingy. Um, so yeah, I will probably just set up the camera outside and walk around in the lounge room so you can see the full picture, minus my face because yeah. <laughs> I've got the skirt on the dress form now um, because I just wanted to quickly show you where I put the hooks and bars. So the bars are here and here on the front and there's also one at the centre back and then that attaches to the bodice. So where I was saying um, where I think I need to add another one, another two sorry, is at the side seams. So one here and one here and then perhaps I might also add another one in here so there'll be another four on the skirt and the bodice um, so that's what I'm thinking for attaching helping to attach the skirt to the bodice otherwise the otherwise there's just a separation between the two and it looks funny in my opinion um, I'll go grab the bodice now so here's the bodice um, as you can tell it does not fit the dress form um, but it does give you an indication of where the hooks and bars are so I very messily sewed a hook over here and that attaches to that bar there and this hook is in between the two pieces of boning um, in the center uh, not the center front in the side front and likewise with the other side there is a hook that's sewn in there which then attaches to that bar on the skirt whoops this is falling off the shoulder so yeah that's the bodice um, from the front and then on the back it looks something like this um, so there is going to be a V and it comes down into this point here um, again I've put in a hook over there to hook onto the bar of the skirt to help hold the skirt up um, close towards the bodice um, and there is also the hook and bar at the waist tape to um, bring in the whole bodice together um, so that's just back here and that's only attached at three points in the center back and the side back and then that just hooks into place in there so I've just put some pins in the in the front there to help hold the bodice up um, so next I'm going to grab that and drape it over the dress form and see what I want to do with it 